So it's a running joke with Mike that I never wear appropriate footwear. Never. But look, appropriate footwear. Yeah. yeah. Because I reminded him to do it this morning. I reminded myself. Good morning from Norway. It's the Nomadic Clementines. I'm Angel. I'm Mike. I'm Nathan. I'm Ethel. And today we are off to visit a uh, fort, Hausvik. Hausvik, please. Yeah. My Norwegian's not that great. But we're off to see uh, World War II yeah, big bunker. World War II yeah. bunker. So let's go check it out today. Yeah. We started off the day by preparing lunch and snacks. They're critical for the boys on days like this. Another essential for exploring abandoned bunkers is torches. Lots of them. Once we have everything we need, it's time to pack the car and load everything into our roof bag. How are you guys doing? You tired? Yeah. It's just under an hour's drive from our camp at the harbour to the bunker. We didn't mind the drive. The scenery here has been incredible. As we got closer to the bunker, the roads just seemed to get smaller and smaller until eventually we were just going along a dirt track. It's not Dangerous 40, but it was time to put on appropriate footwear. Hey! So what's up, Bubba? You didn't put caramel in my coffee, so now it's bitter like you. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like my coffee like I like my husband. Bitter. So what are you guys up to now? Lightsaber fight. Lightsaber fight, okay. Have you found any? <laughs> okay. Of course, we can't even take a walk through the woods without the kids turning sticks into swords or guns or lightsabers. We're just heading down to the fort as we come out from around this forestry block. We go, wow. So we are just coming up to parts of the bunker, I think, are hiding in here. Yeah. Nathan, what do you think is going to be inside? What do you think? I mean, it's four stories. Maybe like, maybe like the. What, what, what was in that? Like a, it was like a... I don't know. <laughs> you just don't remember. A big artillery bunker under the Denmark coast. And now we're looking at a big artillery bunker in the Norwegian. So we're here at the fort. We're trying to find out a bit more about it before we came here, but we don't know a huge amount. We know that it does go deep, but we don't know how to get into it or anything else about it. So we're going to go and explore. That doesn't look creepy at all, does it? I don't know, this is something in here. As we approached, we found some small buildings and caves, but soon we were at the entrance to the main bunker. Are you boys ready? No? I, th I think snacks is probably snacks a good idea. Let's go for it anyway. Okay. Boys. Torch yourself. Okay. Oh, 
children of Christ? Yes. Um, Nate, can you please put that huge plank of wood down? Yeah. Yeah. Can you come back? Nice. Alright, go ahead. Nice. 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 Nice.
There's another left right. It is. Oh my word. Oh, we're back here. Oh, how did we do that? Okay, we're back to the beginning. Okay. Let's go back. This is very confusing. Let's go back in this way. I have my snow boots on, so I've come through this flooded bit. The others have had to stay behind. Hopefully, I can find them again in here. That's what they waited. Can you fit through? Cramped. Hang on, wait up. Oh, nice. Mike started explaining how rifling works to Nathan while Etta and I explored, which is great because I have no idea how it all works. These ribs, that's called great. They, they can't slide there, they don't want that. It's fire. Yes. Being inside is pretty much like being in a labyrinth. Like there's loads of paths. It's like choose your own adventure, left or right, left or right. And, it, uh, and it's a bit magic as well. Because like, at one point, we were completely sure that we were going the right, the right way, but different way. But we ended up at the start somehow. Yeah, I don't know how that happened either, but it did. The gun emplacements blend in well with the cliffs. We've just walked around. Got another cannon and a pillbox. All kinds of other stuff here. This is such a cool sight. We've come back inside and it is another rabbit warren. Rooms hewn out of the rock. Divided up into rooms. Not sure what, maybe armories. Maybe sleeping quarters. Just paths off everywhere. We have been exploring the cave for quite a while now and we've come back out the front so that we can have some Cheers. lunch. Mm -hmm. Packed lunches, they're not keen on but it's what we've got. So it's better than nothing. There's a shortage it is, it is of better than the nothing. KFCs right here. <laughs> um, I think we'll probably have some lunch and do some more exploring, but what do you think of the cave so far boys? What do you think Nate? Oh I really liked it. Yeah. It What's was really fun? cool. There are some cool artillery and everything. Yeah. Ethel, what do you think? Um, it was very, it was very dark and we saw, saw loads of spiders. Yeah, I'm really quite impressed so far that it's been left open for people to explore. Yeah, in the UK this would just be closed off, they'd put big fences up, it'd be boring. Yeah. Basically. But it's, it's really impressive in sight. Yeah. Like, the tunnels are, like, just never ending. miles. I don't know how, how long they are, but there's many, many hundreds of meters of tunnels just crisscrossing through underneath them. You two are up to something absolutely suspicious. Look away! There's a cat flying a dog! <laughs> when I go, I'm pretty fucking a... Uh, the 
would like to live in one of those houses when you're bigger? Yeah. They do look pretty cool. Even though the history of this place is not so pleasant, the scenery and the location are really beautiful and dramatic. Pretty cool place to have some lunch. We're outside the bunker itself now. And we're pretty much on top. We're kind of going up the hill um, that it's dug into. And all around the hill are these foundations of uh, presumably the huts that were used for barracks or toilet blocks or you know whatever else they needed. I have no idea what that is. Kind of almost looks like a well. Oh it is a well. Well well well. Unfortunately a lot of these areas, these uh, buildings would have been built with uh, forced labour, with slave labour basically from could have been prisoners of war or um people from the occupied territories i'm not sure exactly who it would have been but most of this would have been built by people who had no choice in the matter I'm not sure what they are but they're being reclaimed by nature angel and Neto have gone on uh, ahead but we were exploring the ruins and we found another little tunnel, which goes around the corner. It looks like an air venture. Oh. It does. Oh, and there's a dead end there. No, it must so be this an looks. Air shelter. Yeah. Like I think this is an air raid shelter too. Oh, it's got double oh, doors. Oh, yeah, that curve would help stop um, shrapnel getting you or blast waves. So that's kind of cool. Kind of drippy. I wouldn't want to spend long in here, would you? As we headed away from the main bunker, we kept exploring and finding more hidden buildings. Hello. Hello. What's it like in there? Small. This was the hardest place to get into. Why? Oh, there's no easy path. You gotta scramble all over the place. It has been a pretty long day so far. We're heading back towards the car. Boys are pretty tired. Yeah, picking up sticks, playing lightsabers on the way, as you do. Mike's off exploring some pillbox at the moment that seems to be like scattered everywhere across this landscape. And I think when we get home, it's time for a warm shower and something nice to eat. What do you think, boys? Um, yes. Neat. I was sad we couldn't find any ghosts in the bunker. Well, we haven't watched back any of our footage, so if we look back and see any shadows, <laughs> we'd be going on route five. You survived. We survived. Cool guy dancing off a cliff. Woohoo! It's been a pretty epic adventure around that fort today. The kids have enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it. We're just I'm, heading back now to the car. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired now. We're walking uphill a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we've reached the end of the road, back to the car. The boys are tired. I'm tired, Juno's tired. We're ready to head back to the RV. So guys, what did you think of that? I really liked it. Um, the tunnels were kind of scary. Yeah, they were a bit. And long. But very the views long. were beautiful. They were. The tunnels were very like scary and bloody. We got captured. We're back now from exploring the abandoned German fort. It was a really pretty epic adventure. An incredible day out. Yeah, the boys are pretty tired now but it was well worth it. If you're in that part of Norway, I'd really go and have a look at it. There's so many places and little nooks and crannies that you can explore. Yeah, don't forget your torches though. Absolutely, head torches and batteries in case you need yeah, them. Spare batteries. Yeah. So don't forget, please like and subscribe. It's free and it really helps us. Bye. Bye.